Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyFirstMagicWave.com. It's been a long time that I've made a video for YouTube. I've uh, been very, very busy teaching, doing webinars and trading and all that. Anyway, that's life. Okay, so just want to uh, recap a little bit, uh, maybe almost a month now, <laughs> uh, more, maybe more than that. But anyway, let's uh, just quickly uh, make this uh, video. I want to make it short and fast. I uh, don't want to waste your time. So let's see. Um, just want to show how I did uh, all this time. This is one of those uh, charred uh, pound USD. Um, I, I almost you know, look at around like 12 to 15 charts. Uh, I mean, you know, currency pairs, different pairs and uh Almost uh, every step of the way, I just, you know, watch them and uh, make the charts and send out to my subscribers and uh, give them direction what to do. And plus, uh, we make our entry from my strategy called Magic Wave, first Magic Wave. And um, that's uh, a solid strategy uh, for making an entry, but you need to know w what are the turning points uh, on a higher time frame. That's very essential. So this is what it is. Uh, let me show you. This is a pound USD weekly chart, and it is from March. If you can see here, it dropped. This is a nice blue channel here. And uh, there's this uh, supposedly like wave 1 or A, and then we're supposed to go around here or here for wave 2 or B. This was the first uh, resistance area. So I mark here, but it could go over there, right? So what actually happened, you can see yourself. Let me show you where this uh, is, uh, chart is right here, okay? So this was one here, then it went in two waves, A, B, C, A, then B, and C. This is how the Elliott wave works, um, okay? So first, uh, the B wave was here, uh, two or B, but well, it's a part of it, right? So <laughs> this is it. But anyway, we went all the way up to this high, and now we're sitting here, okay? The end, uh, this channel again, the upper TL we are hitting. Uh, next pair, let's see what is it. This is a uh, pound, I mean, uh, USD franc. This chart from May. And this is a big head and shoulder. You can see this is a weekly chart. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. This is right shoulder usually makes wave one and, uh, and two or A or B that followed by C or three. Simple. Okay, it's always like that. This is what head and shoulder is. Unless this is wave three and this could be a wave four and five. But that's not the scenario. You need to know what is happening in the background. So that's why I said it could be A, 1 or A, 2 or B, and then we will go down in 5 wave, 3 or C. What happened after that? This is what happened after that. We have 1, 2. We are in currently wave 3 or C. It would be a big one. So around here, then 4, then 5. Okay. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is what, that's why I said it in the back uh, chart before chart that we will go down in 5 waves because wave 3 or C usually carries 5 waves. Anyway, so this is uh, pound franc. Now, next chart, I want to show you really what happened. This is Aussie USD. It's also a weekly chart from August. It was dropping big time, and I predicted that it's going to drop from here from 63. Okay, I have a dream chart that <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I saw these numbers big time dropping. So anyway. Now, as, as you can see here and read, I said enough of this sell off now. Let's go up already. And I think I scared him off. Uh, the chart really went up, right? <laughs> All the way up and powerfully going up. So let's watch this one, how far it goes. But so far, you know, hundreds of pips to the upside. Uh, similarly, next chart is uh, Euro Yen. I mean, if you, I, I'll show you the, how nicely I, I, well, I always watch it, but if I go too far back, you get confused. So it's going to show a few steps back from August. You see this, uh, this is the, the area that I said, uh, point out that it's going to go up. And uh, what happened next, that we nicely went up where I said exactly it will go. Then I said it was going to drop from there. Okay, hitting the trend line and then drop, you have to make like wave one, two, and then one, two, three, fall, right? And start dropping, and then touch the trend line, but then did it, 
All right. So you take the trend line. Then from there, obviously, after trend line bounce, we need to see the upside. And we have the upside. All right. Then I lost track of this pair that you know, came down and bounced from the trend line again. I made the chart, but I kind of lost it, so I cannot show you that I, I uh, added anticipated. <laughs> okay. So this is how it is. So far we are here, and I uh, know where it's going, and I already made the chart and sent out to my subscribers. Uh, this is pound yen daily chart. You can see here we have uh, three, four, five, if three, and I was expecting a wobbling here as we have four coming down here. Uh, what actually happened is that it dropped uh, to this, you start dropping, but somehow this trend line hold it. And then I said, okay, enough of this dropping, and it's not going to, you know, after this bullying, bullish uh, candle here, then I said, okay, this is wave one and two, and then we will go for wave three to the upside, three or C or whatever. But this is how the um, Elliott wave uh, mumbo jumbo is. But anyway, we will go above this level, uh, which is um, 0.3, right? We started to go up slowly, and then we went above and hit the target. Similarly, somehow my, I had my computer crash, so I, you know, I lost those charts uh, after that. Okay, so but anyway, so this is where we are now. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so nice and clean. Let's see. One of my favorite charts is where it is. Okay, this one. <laughs> okay, this one was a little recent. It's a daily chart, pound Aussie. I look, it's, you know, it's like a wave three and then four and five, and then uh, obviously this uh, always follows uh, with the correction. So I said, well, this is A and this B, then we have to go down to C wave, maybe 100% or 127 or 1.618. These are the three levels. Okay. And. Uh, and this is a daily chart, by the way. And this pound uh, Aussie moves big time. It, it is uh, when I sent out the chart where we were like around 174, close to 174, 173, 80, 90. And after that, what really happened is this. See how beautifully we are coming down? We already um, hit the first target 100% now. In, in fact, we hit the second one as well. You see the 127% hit by the pip that we bounce a little bit and now uh, it looks like that we are going more down to 1.618 level. So let's see whatever happens, but this is how it is. Now, uh, these are the longer time frame charts that I sent out to my subscribers. I'm not showing the one hour or four hour charts because then the video is going to be too long. Uh, these are bigger charts uh, that gives us the direction, the sense of direction, the where it is. So now if you look at this one, for example, if you know that we need to go down for um, to finish the three wave, as I said it here. You know, bad pattern, uh, bad pattern is complete, and go, you know, need to go down for C to complete ABC correction. So, okay, these are the targets. We need to go down. Then, you, should we go uh, take a long setup and go long? No, obviously not. Right? We're looking for short setups, and that's that is the beauty comes in with my magic wave strategy. Uh, it is a very precise strategy which I give you all to g I give you all my subscribers and, and teach them how to use it. And uh, whoops, what happened here? Anyway, I don't know. Oh, okay. And uh, using that strategy, uh, you can always uh, make very precise and nice entries. Okay, this is more like. Uh, for example, I think I have made one chart of this pair. Um, you, you get to earn five, uh, entries are always from the 500 chart. So, for example, this one, the last day, uh, October 16, that we had uh, on pound uh, Aussie dropping again. So, see now, if uh, a longer time frame telling you that uh, the pair is dropping, right? Even though you have a nice bullish entry here, would you take it? No. But if you don't know higher time frame, then you would take this one or this one and get killed. This is what happens. So it's very essential to watch higher time frame charts and get your direction, sense of direction. And that is not easy as well. That's why I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I send out the charts, all my subscribers, they need it. And uh, not everybody can um, understand very quickly where the direction is, where the pair is going. 
and this is what I do. I uh, pinpoint the direction and everything like I just so showed you all those charts, the higher time frame, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour charts. I make the direction chart, I send out. In fact, I'm in, nowadays I'm making a small video quickly and then send it out explaining and everything and telling what to do. And all you have to do is just, uh, you know, sit tight and wait for a setup like this. Okay, adjust a setup like this. It's very easy. Uh, I'm not going to show more charts uh, with the setup. You can have tons of videos. You go and see how uh, these setups look like. Um, they are everywhere, every pair, every night. Okay, uh, like just like this, see, the price goes up above the wave, then comes down, and then this bullish candle bar, right, comes out of the, like this is what it is, the momentum, the, the price comes out with a momentum bar, this is what it is, just like this here, price dip below the wave, make the entry again into the wave, and then comes out with a nice candle, that's your candle, to make an entry, and this is a 100 drop, 100 pip drop here, and then it, it drop even more further. All right, so this is the story every single night. That's what happens around London. This is the correction in Asia usually, and then London comes in or, or, or your session, they hit, you know, for a big move. This is um, this is it. Uh, that's what I do uh, my webinar, and uh, I teach all of that. Okay, how to do analysis the way I do it: Elliott wave, harmonic patterns. Um, so I have a bunch of uh, patterns that I made on my own, you know, similar patterns. Uh, you can find them all over the Internet. But uh, the problem is that how you uh, look for one and how you trade one. And that is very important, okay, uh, finding it in exactly at the right time. So, uh, and with the, you know, with the beginning of the move, then you can make an early entry and make lots of pivots, like from here. You had 700 pips, and they're not in a straight line. You can like dip, and then goes up again. So you make the pipage while it's dipping, drop, then get out, like around here, and then let, let me see if I can explain it. Let's see this one here. This one didn't do it much, but the, like the the Frankie. Uh, if you go back, let me show you. If okay. I should have gone the other way anyway. Um, I uh, Frankie means uh, when I say Frankie, that is um, pa. I mean um, USD Frank. This is uh, 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 most common name is Swissy. So now you see if I tell you that we need to go in a five waves. So you start shorting from here, and the target is this low, this low, or the trend line or something, right? And then you get out and then start going up. Either you can go up for a second wave, which is, you know, uh, you can do it because on a daily or weekly chart, even a second wave, even a correction has a lot of pipage on smaller time frame from the time, five, time, uh, five minute time. And then it goes up there and then it gives you this candle. That means, again, we're turning back to the downside and you hit it hard with the short setups. Then again, it goes, it bounced from the TL, and this candle shows you, and this is where I just showed you the chart, uh, you know. Uh, oh, that was uh, a different pair, Paranasi, sorry. So, but that's the, that's the technique to uh, see this is it. And so you see that, you know, after a correction, it starts coming down again. You find your setup, and it gives you setup most of the time, 99, 95% of the time, you'll see the setup when it starts dropping. Okay, either five minute, one minute, fifteen minute, one of those charts will give you the setup, and you just take it to the downside. Simple, very easy. Not easy, but once you learn it. So this is what it is. Okay, um, if when, if you subscribe, then what you get is that I will uh, I send charts uh, with the higher time frame setups, like these, uh, one hour chart, four hour chart, daily chart, uh, explaining. And now I just started that I made a small video and sent out. And explain everything that what's happening and what to look for where the price is going in that pair let's say if I made a, a, a video uh, you know I'm gonna show you three or four charts different charts indexes as well and I uh, cover the indexes US dollar index and yen index especially those two uh, that also gives you the uh, the sense of uh, which currency is getting strong or which is uh, getting weaker 
and uh, uh, that helps a lot knowing that um, if the currency is getting weaker uh, then you see that all the let's say you you see the USDX uh, getting weaker that means all the USD pairs should go up and what you uh, looking for is uh, uh, in, in your analysis higher time frame showing a setup to the upside a bullish setup and once you have that that confirms the index and then you go on a five minute chart 15 with one minute chart to make your long entries from there this is the whole story so in my webinars I teach that I mean in my videos I send out charts in your email uh, with uh, the direction and uh, all the instructions what to do what not so you not only be able to trade also you learn how to do all this mumbo jumbo right and um, if you like it and if you think it's worthwhile then just go on my website and take a look it's uh, www.myforexmagicwave.com okay myforexmagicwave.com my first website is was stolen and somebody else uh, opened it up again and using my name and uh, doing a lot of you know nonsense things uh, but I'm not part of that uh, please uh, be advised my only website right now is myforexmagicwave.com that's the only one I have now, and that's where I uh, do everything. Everything else uh, with the name of Magic Wave does not belong to me. Okay, please stay away from that. Or if you wanna, you know, have anything to do with them, fine. But that's not me. Me only. My forestmagicwave.com. Please, I need to uh, do that. I just found out a lot of nonsense going out there with this name. Okay, but I cannot stop them. I never filed for <laughs> copyright, so they're taking advantage of it. That's fine. If you can, if they can make some money out of that, that's you know, I, I don't care about that. I don't want people to get hurt. That's it. You know, I just you want you to know that this is who I am. Myforexmagicweb.com. That's the only website I have right now. Okay. All right. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And uh, if you feel if you think that it's worthwhile, you know, just come and uh, subscribe and join my group. All right. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.